This summer, Nourish UNC sent four interns to Mpeji, Uganda, and we partnered with Mountains of Hope, which is a grassroots nonprofit that was founded in 2009. Over the past 10 weeks, we have facilitated 10 different trainings for sustainable menstruation management, and we've worked with Mountains of Hope to reach over 600 people in Mpeji District. We've heard a lot of stories of girls who um, aren't afraid to ask their parents for pads or their parents just don't have the resources to pay for them. They love the materials to use uh, because uh, the interior homes, they had some are very poor. We've also heard um, countless stories of girls who don't have access to pads having to skip school and they fall way behind their male counterparts. Schools try to help girls when they start to menstruate, but they aren't able to provide enough pads to sustain all the girls throughout the week. When it starts from school here, we provide the water, the girl cleans herself, we provide the pad, but for the following days we don't spill. When girls are able to find access to sanitary pads, they're able to continue going to school while they're on their period. So that was kind of the goal of our training, was to support those girls so they could continue going to school. So the three parts of our trainings with Jane's and with Mountains of Hope is meaning, myth, and management. And meaning is literally just the biological aspects of menstruation. Because we hope that by giving people an understanding that periods are natural and normal and half the population has them, that um, it will just become something that everyone in the community can get behind. Talking about the young kids, so then we go into myth, where we talk about um, the misconceptions that have occurred over time. Such as, if a girl is menstruating and she climbs a fruit tree, the fruit will shrivel up and die. Historically that's come about because uh, mothers uh, think that if their girl goes and climbs, her pads will fall out, but we hope that now that women have more access to secure pads, that, that these myths that maybe were necessary in the past really aren't anymore. Oftentimes it is difficult to convince the community that that's not true, but we try our best and we hope that at least one person in the training is convinced and they can go on and tell other people. And then lastly, we talk about management. Well, for management, we talk about the ways in which a woman or girl can treat their symptoms and um, also we teach them how to create their own reusable sanitary pad. And they actually leave the training with their own reusable sanitary pad along with a little plastic pocket to put the sanitary pad in. And since the pads are made from materials that are found in a typical Ugandan home, the participants can go home and teach other people in their communities and in their homes so that they can spread the information that they were given. The knowledge we, we acquired is long lasting and we can easily pass, to other, pass it to other people in the community. Trainings have definitely been the concentration of our trip, but we're really lucky to be living in a house across the street from Jane's, the Mountains of Hope director, and Lydia, our homestay mom, is the best. Our homestay family um, is this wonderful woman Lydia and her adorable son David and we've really gotten the chance to bond a lot with Lydia just because she really has become our second mom here. I don't think I could have felt more comfortable in any other setting just because of our homestay family and our work family. The really cool part of living with Lydia is that she owns a school right down the street so once a week we get to go with her and teach art lessons to her students. We work and play with the three and four year olds which has been really rewarding and helps us feel like we know the people in the community where we live and work. It's been really cool to just see how easy I guess it is to um, jump into another culture when you have um, such supportive people around you like Lydia and like James, the founder of Mountains of Hope. We've loved our work with Mountains of Hope and James has a really special understanding of his community. We think that the work they're doing is really sustainable and holistic and we really hope that in the future we can help them to continue achieving the goals that they've set.